Hi, Russ Miller, Off Grid Creationist here. Hey, I usually begin our videos by describing something I'm working on around our off grid cabin here in northern Arizona, uh, providing some information about the creation, evolution, or global flood issues, as these are all foundational to the gospel message. However, today, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Instead, in part three of our community disorganization series, I want to name some of the best known community organizers and recap their standard operating procedures so we can all grasp the situation we're in. I previously explained how community organizers get people opposed to one another in order to create chaos and mass fear with the ultimate goal of causing society to implode upon itself, all the while employing name calling to keep folks in line with their agenda. The uh, collapse they cause opens the door for them to save the day with programs which desperate people readily accept. By the time these folks realize their nation has been hijacked and their freedoms are gone, they've already effectively been enslaved by a Marxist regime where government is God, where atheism rules and Christians face severe persecution. Hmm, this all sounds very biblically accurate, but that's for another video. So. Who are some of today's best known community organizers? Well, here are four that will show you how serious the situation is. The original community organizer, Saul Alansky, said the best student he ever had was Hillary Clinton. William Ayers was a terrorist and a community organizer. It was in his home that former president and community organizer Barack Obama launched his political career. Obama's group, Organizing for Action now has over 50,000 members and millions and millions of dollars in funding behind them. In fact, much of the turmoil going on today in America is a result of Obama's group. And the fourth community organizer I'll mention is the mainstream media, which endlessly spreads hate, fear, division, chaos, and lies while deriding name-calling anyone who dares stand opposed to their agenda. All of this is going on as I speak, and it's so biblically accurate. The rulers of the world take counsel against God and Christ, thinking they're going to defeat Him. Meanwhile, God is laughing from His throne in heaven, holding them in derision. Now, they may destroy freedom in this world, but they will never defeat God's eternal plan. And all of this is pretty well spelled out in the Bible. I will discuss that in an upcoming video. So, has history been rewritten over the past 40 years? Do you know who said that the rewriting of a country's history is the first step in conquering that nation? Do you believe that if we don't learn from history, we'll repeat it? If so, what became of ancient Israel when they turned their back on God? Scripture tells us there's nothing new under the sun, and the Bible forewarns of what we're seeing today. So I'll pick this up in the next Off-Grid Creationist video. Until then, pray for your country and its leadership, and know that God is in full control, because that's what I wanted to talk about. Hi, I'm the off-grid creationist Russ Miller. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked the video, would you please subscribe and share it with others or help us out by visiting our website where, where you will find lots of great resources. Or if you want to partner with us, then hit the button below and help support our efforts as well. Hope to see you soon in another one of our videos.